What's up guys? It's uh, Nick from Source Strength. I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a few things. Uh, if you're not following me already, uh, Source Strength on Instagram. Um, I'm making this video before I made a YouTube, so I'm not even sure uh, what my username and all that's going to be like. But uh, I, I just want to talk to you guys about warming up. Um, I've only had an Instagram for a few months now. Uh, I've been lifting for about 10 years and I've been doing powerlifting for a little while. Um, strength has always been my goal, my focus, whether I was doing bodybuilding or power building or wanting to be strong men or uh, kind of riding two horses, one ass right now, trying to figure out if I want to go powerlifting or strong man. Um, but I do get a lot of questions about a lot of things, but one of the, the biggest things I get questions about is uh, warming up and like, what should I do to warm up for my chest day or what should I do to warm up in general? Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk about that for a second. Uh, warming up is crucially important. And if you want to stay away from injuries, um, you're going to need to warm up. Uh, so my warm up is, it's pretty simple. Um, it does change each day depending on like what the goal for the day is. If I'm going to have a heavy day or if I'm going to squat or if I'm going to deadlift or if I'm going to do a yoke or so it, the warm ups do change, but generally they're roughly the same. So I stretch uh, my upper body for 10 minutes um, and then I stretch my lower body for 10 minutes. I do bands for 10 minutes and then I do a five minute um, like a cardio circuit. So I'll push and pull a sled. Um, maybe I'll do some kettlebell swings or some medicine ball tosses. And uh, the kettlebell swings and medicine ball tosses, they do change depending on what I'm lifting. So like if I'm going to be doing military press, I'm going to toss medicine balls because I want to prime the muscles that I'm going to be using that day. Um, so then if I'm going to be deadlifting, then I'll do kettlebell swings because I want to fire up my glutes um, and get, get those working. Um, so all that usually adds up to about 35 minutes. Um, like if I'm going to squat, maybe I'll stretch my hips a little longer than I stretch my upper body and things like that. But a warming up's very, very important. It has to be done. Um, I wear a jacket when I go to the gym so that I can keep my body temperature up, stay sweating, stay warm. Um, that's going to help you prevent injury. And, and I'll tell you, I didn't used to stretch like this. And um, it's it's so important because I used to get injured a lot and I'd have a hard time recovering. But now I stretch 30 minutes before I work out. I've been doing that for about seven or eight months now. And then I'll go ahead and stretch at home usually or do some like yoga or something like that. Uh, but and it all seems so silly and you just like, man, I just want to get in there and bang out some deadlifts. But uh, you'll find that you'll lift better and more efficiently um, if you stretch. And we're all in it for the same thing. We want to be healthy, be strong or fit. And if we want to continue to do that over our lifetime, we're going to have to take the, the prehab, which is like stretching and, and things like that. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, man, I don't have time. I don't have 35 minutes just to stretch. I only got an hour to be at the gym because I have kids or uh, my job doesn't, you know, I get off late. I have to be back early and all that stuff. But man, I'm here to tell you that uh, if you are serious about your goals, um, you will make the sacrifices. Now, I'm not saying fuck your kids or, or anything like that. I'm saying, why can't you stretch at home when you talk to your kids before you go to the gym? Um, you know, me and my girlfriend, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Some people may say, well, that's a little much, but we don't watch TV at all. Um, we do watch some at the end of the night uh, if we have time, but what's most important for us is our goals and we want to be the fittest versions of ourselves. And uh, so we make that time and that sacrifice. Uh, so we stretch for 30 minutes and we train for two hours. And I know that everybody can't do that. I don't have kids yet. And I understand once I do, things will change. Um, but my goals will always stay the same. Um, and hopefully yours will too. And you'll do what needs to be done. Um, it's not that hard to stretch at home. Um, and it's, it's going to really help you out to reach your goals faster because you may go in the gym, not stretch, go right to heavy bench press, and uh, that may work for you. But in six months when you tear a pec and you can't bench press uh, for six more months, you would have wished you stretched a little bit. So, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to sound like a, a dick, but um, you definitely do need to take the warm-up seriously. Warming up to me is just as serious as 
uh, as the workout itself. Sometimes I get fired up just to stretch because I don't always want to stretch. Sometimes I just want to go in there and work out. Um, but it's so crucially important. I, I mean, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, 30 minutes isn't going to kill you. And um, to be completely honest, most people aren't efficient enough with their workouts anyway. They're in there for an hour, but they only do about 30 minutes of actual work and 30 minutes of on their cell phone or talking to their friends or just kind of like bullshitting. So um, when I'm in the gym, it's serious. I do 30 minutes of stretching and I don't talk to anybody. Uh, maybe I talk to my girlfriend a little bit and then we hit the workout. That's serious. I do my work and go home. Um, you know, you only live one life. Why not be a savage? Why not reach your goals? Everybody has goals. You can reach them. You just got to take them seriously. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Um, like I said, Source Strength on Instagram. Um, S-O-A-R-E-S underscore strength. Uh, thank you. Leave a like, subscribe, comment below of things you'd like to hear. Uh, I'll be making more videos uh, pretty much as soon as you guys give me some topics. I'll talk about them. Um, I don't claim to have all the answers, but... Uh, I've been lifting for a while, I'm a natural lifter, and I've been able to surpass most of my friends, um, well really all of them, and um, I have some big goals, uh, I want to be the Florida strongest man, um, and I want to do that naturally, no protein, no creatine, just working hard and eating harder, um, so yeah, leave comments below, anything you want to hear about, I'd be more than happy to talk about, um, I've been doing a lot of online coaching, and it's gotten to be so much uh, that I'm not able to spend the time um, with like a like a person to person basis the time that I want to it's all free I don't I don't charge anybody for coaching it's just it's gotten so much now that I want to make YouTube videos that can kind of answer a lot of questions at once so once again thanks guys I appreciate it um, keep them coming keep working out stay goal driven um, I'm here for you and I know you guys are there for me all right thanks.